Another headline we're following, a dump truck overturned across the median on the Long Island Expressway, spilling debris all over the road. The accident near exit 25 in Flushing, Queens, injured four people and also caused hours of massive delays. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport live at the scene. Scott, what is the situation there now? Yeah, you know, gridlock and congestion are nothing new here on the LIE, but what happened here today, you really had to see to believe. A traffic nightmare on the Long Island Expressway, even by LIE standards. Chopper 2 overhead after a dump truck trailer overturned on the center median near Casino Boulevard, littering the expressway with debris, shutting down both the east and westbound lanes and leaving motorists stranded for as far as the eye could see. One hour. What about it? I've been sitting on this traffic for one hour. It happened around noon. Officials say the truck was traveling eastbound when it flipped over on its side. Witness Mohammed Rav was driving in the westbound lane when he says the mud and stone from the tractor trailer hit his minivan and forced him off the road. It's like a very, very strong noise, you know? Like, boom. The rig was from Salco Industries Incorporated of Long Beach, New York. Four people suffered minor injuries. The subsequent backups and delays were massive. Drivers with no place to go, standing outside their cars on the LIE, helpless, stuck, same situation on the packed, static side roads. I'm losing my mind right now. The situation here in the thick of it, one of frustration. It's unbelievable. That's how it is. Absolutely unreal. It's been an hour and a half sitting here. It's crazy. Traffic for a time backed up for four miles in each direction, threatening to make the usual slow roll evening rush hour even that much worse. It's just been sitting here waiting. That's all we can do. By 2 p.m., cleanup crews had the overturned tractor trailer upright, and westbound lanes of the LIE were moving again. By 3 p.m., the eastbound lanes were open as well. Late word from the NYPD. They say the driver of that tractor trailer says another vehicle hit the front end of his truck, and that's what caused him to swerve and lose control. We mentioned four people suffered non life threatening injuries. One of them was the driver. We are live in Flushing tonight. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Okay, Scott.